Cut it, scale guys. Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, another video today, we are going to be going in with a weapon that I've just recently obtained. And it's going to be the plug one. That one. I don't know what the that one is there, but this is the plug one. This was a D1 weapon that has come back, obviously, into D2, and it is a knife for unique reward. So basically, there is the plug one dot one and the plug one adept. They're basically similar. Adept obviously take adept mods and stuff like that. But if the plug one itself is good, that means the adept is only gonna be better. And that's what we're gonna be looking at today. You can get it from any of the nightfall. So we actually quickly show you the nightfalls. Chance of you getting it from any nightfall version, but of course, the better hard, more harder the difficulty, the more chance you have of getting it. But yeah, the plug one itself, it wasn't like it was amazing back in D1. It was okay. It wasn't like a god tier or anything. It's no hung jury or anything like that. But the plug one, as I said, is dropping from Night Fast this week. Only a couple of days left to get it. So if you're going to grind that, you're going to have to be fast about it. But plug one itself, the role I did get was I got Chamber Compensator or I got a Small Boar. For the battery, I got Particle Repeater, Increased Stability, or else I got Projection Fuse for increase in range. For the perk, I got the trait Bottomless Grief, which did get a buff, but only really for PvE. It helps in PvP a bit, but not too much. And then for the trait, Great, we got kickstart, gain bonus damage and charge rate during a slide after sprinting for a short duration. Now, this is the new break that came out in Beyond Light. But you can see on the screen now all the different types of rolls you can get. You can get some really cool ones. Obviously, you can get like obviously heating up and everything, which is super nice. Under pressure, PvP is great. You can get the reservoir burst. Honestly, that is god tier PvE. It's such a good perk. Maybe not so much on adaptive frame. It was so much better than a loaded question. But you can also get a brand new perk on these fusion rifles, which is cornered, which actually, when you're surrounded, reduces the charge time and everything on it as well which is also super dope but in terms of god rolls it'll basically be kickstart for pvp anyway here and then maybe backup plan and then under pressure killing wind those sorts of perks heating up there definitely the ones here but if you're going pve wise it'll probably be kickstart's good as well pve bottomless grief is actually really good pve as well when you're the last living fire team it's actually a really good perk and also reservoir burst or trash reservoir burst though obviously is just really really good still but generally speaking the plug one is actually pretty good i've got my ass torn up by this thing in pvp recently it's actually really good because generally speaking all fusion rifles every single one got a a little bit of a buff this season. So every fusion rifle right now is absolutely clapping. But the plug 1.1, we're going to try it out in some PvP first of all. So without further ado, let's go in with this plug 1 and try to shred out. Alrighty, so we're going to get Pacific. And I honestly couldn't have got a better map for this. Because this is a fusion rifle that, don't get me wrong, it will go far. But fusion rifles like this, unless they're really high impact, they don't go as far. But there's the kickstart perk right away, straight away. So you can see, kind of just run around for a little bit. You'll see it's kickstart ready. And then once you slide, it'll actually tell you you can use it. So you can do stuff like this. Now... Dude is here, and there is the kill. Oh my god, we just shredded his ass. Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Hello, buddy? You? Oh my god, he's dead. Okay. Well, that is the kill. That's how the kickstart works and everything. You get a bit of extra damage on it. It's super sweet. And that's why when you can get paired with the Exos Curse stuff, it's super nice. But this guy is one shot. <laughs> I didn't even get the kill for that. Oh my god. And that guy's a one shot as well. Man, I'm just legit hitting them all to the freaking one HP. Now, there is the kill. Thank god. Oh no! It's throwing knife my ass. He actually hit the headshot as well. It's not exactly always going to be a one shot. There is obviously better, more reliable ones in terms of high impacts, but the charge time on this is just freaking nuts, especially with the role I do have. Now, these guys can just. No! Don't worry, boys. They can't get heavy. I got freaking frozen, though. Yeah, cool. <laughs> But yeah, these aren't exactly one-shotting machines. Um, they're usually, they're adaptive frame or precision frame, so they're really good for getting someone super weak very fast, but they're not exactly built for just the one-shot, which is honestly fine. Not every freaking fusion needs to one-tap and everything. Oh my God, can this guy... Bro, you ain't getting away from me. And that is heavy, so I am not peeking that shiz. I am not peeking that shiz with a fusion rifle. Thank you. But if you do get the charging up going like this, you can go like this, and then you can get it ready. And that's when you can start to one-tap. Like, I mean, I went pretty far there, to be honest, but that's because I had the kickstart going. So once you do get the kickstart going, you can just one-shot people, like... Especially when you're up close, though. Kickstart, honestly, is freaking dope when it comes to PvP, but that guy's gonna run. It would be nice, as I said, if you had the slide shot, but you can see we just got a double kill. Oh, the shred. Oh, my God. The plus one, as I said. Plus one right now is actually clapping pretty well. Oh, there's two people here. And oh, no. He freaking hit him. He's native, boys. Don't worry. We got him. Freaking freezing my ass. Where's my Firewalker Titan Exotics when I need them? But yeah, when you have the Exos Curse using this sort of perk and everything, or you just have this in general using it, it's just really, really sweet how much damage you can do, honestly. It's just so easy. You get basically high impact reserves just for running a little bit. And that's the thing. You can get under pressure with this as well. So if you think about it, you could have like a super stable sort of slidey freaking weapon. I just absolutely wreck people. Oh, that's the freaking Mindbenders. Well, yeah, that stuff's still gonna probably kill you. People, some guys actually use the mind benders. I know it got sunset, but this dude legit needs a shotgun with kick try to survive. But you can get away with that sort of stuff now. We go like this to do it. Oh no! 
Oh, we got him. But that's like the one shot. Didn't really come in there for me. As I said, it's not going to be the reliable one shot you always think. But in certain situations, you're, you'll definitely benefit, obviously, from the plus one, or plug one. And it's mainly because the charge time is so low. So you can't have a plug, obviously. It's not going to be a freaking machine in terms of charge time and also be one shotting people. Because otherwise, it would be broken as all hell. Yeah, there's going to be a guy here. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, dude, dude, dude. Oh, we got to get him. Oh, we got him. Oh, that's a freaking freezy boy up my ass. Oh, it's a freezy boy. Screw it. Screw it. You're not freezing anymore, bro. Oh, it's the blockchain, dude. Screw you on Mondes, bro. Oh, how did that guy whiff? <laughs> He's going to be pissed. He whiffed that. And there's the triple kill. Another person up there. Did we hit him? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, no. No. No, boys. Someone help me. Help. What the hell is going on? Bro, is this guy going to freaking die? Oh, we got him. Oh, I'm frozen, boys. Frozen. Frozen. Uh, 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 froze. What the hell is going on? I have no idea, but we're getting kills, boys. We're doing it. We're freaking doing it. Oh, my God. This guy's using the fusion, too. Hey, buddy, you want to die for me? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, even if you do hit them weak, you have enough time to either switch weapon or you have enough time to um to flick back. And that is a guy who's going to kill my ass. Yep. Yep, I'm dead, bro. Don't go up. There's a freaking tornado. Noob guy, go back. Retreat. Oh, he got away. He got away. I said, it's not going to be the consistent one tap you're always used to with high impact frames, but it's definitely not going to be no slouch either. So there's going to be a guy here. Oh, and he's one shot. Screw you, buddy. Uh, no, 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 no. I knew that was coming. Oh, there's a golden gun coming, though. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we got him. Oh, the golden gun shut down. Oh, screw you, bro. I mean, he's, I think this guy's like new because if John by gear he is at uh, work lift coil, cool. there's the. Oh, my God. What's going on? That guy is. I bet you that guy's going to come out with a really high score. I know. You can just tell by the way he plays. But yeah, I'm honestly enjoying the plug one. I think PvP, as far as fusion rifle goes, I think fusions are slapping a bit right now anyway because of the buff they got. I generally think that the plug one is honestly a very, very solid fusion. I think it has really good damage. Its perks are nuts. Said it can go with the reservoir burst if you want, which is honestly just insane. Oh, no. No. Oh. 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 Guys, use the sidearm. Guys, use the sidearm. Oh, God, use this freaking. What the hell is going on? <laughs> we got him, boys. Oh, man. Thank you for current scenes. If I didn't have current scenes, I'm dead 10 times over. But, hey, I had a sidearm going off. But that's the plug one. Like, I mapped that guy. He was, like, right here. How on earth did I kill him? Oh, I have no idea. And that's the thing. Sometimes the bullets are super straight and everything. There it is. Guy, and he gets away. God dang, the freaking silence is small. I get super by that every time. Legit, you'll have like three hunters, and every single one of them will hit me. Oh, they're silent squad as well. All right, they're gonna super me. I'm gonna super them back. Where you at, bro? Where you at, bro? Where you at, bro? <laughs> Screw you, bro, and your freaking winter's rat. This is why I don't play, boys, so I can float in the air and hit random people. And then, oh, he's one shot. Oh. I mean, I'm in a super. So he's obviously one shot and I run out. God damn it. But yeah, honestly, I will say definitely for PvP, it's definitely worth picking up a roll of this. I think it's perk pool honestly isn't bad either in terms of even if you don't get the goddess rolls, you'll have a solid ass roll. Kick, kick, kickstart is a really good perk to use because you can do stuff like this. And, okay, this dude can just die. <laughs> but you can get the perk going just so fast and it's basically just extra damage for doing nothing. Ah, there's heavy everywhere. But it's extra damage for basically sliding, which honestly is just... It's free real estate, you know what I mean? It's just free freaking damage. This game is going to end, though. And honestly, we actually... As I said, we got a decent map for it, but we're doing pretty well. And oh, oh, kill him, boys. Kill him. There we go. I wasted all my ammo, but it was worth it. But uh, yeah, I will say this is honestly a sweet ass. Oh, my God. I got frozen twice. Got frozen twice, boys. It's right here. How am I alive? I do not know. Kill someone. Don't, just shoot, boys. Keep shooting. Just keep freaking shooting. And that is the W, boys. That is the freaking W. But that is the plug 1.1 for, uh, obviously, for PC. 27 bonus defeated or 2.08. Man, they were slaying. But, hey, boys, look. You don't cap flags. You won't win. Look, three caps for flags. Oh, I got two. I'll just shut up. I'll just shut up. But, honestly, the plug one is definitely a dope, uh, dope fusion. All right, all right, all right. Time for the PvE side of things. And we're going in again with the plug one. It's basically got to be decent in PvE, especially with my roll and stuff. Kickstart, obviously, is going to be nice for extra damage. But I also have the bottom of the screen. So my teammates all die. I'll be appreciated, boys. You want to all kill yourselves, please? It would be, I really appreciate if y'all just jumped off. The, uh, the map here so I can get the bottom of the screen going. Yes, thank you, thank you. But this is honestly going to be decent in PvE. It is an arc uh, an arc fusion too, so it does cover that basis. And also, it can roll rev Reservoir Burst. Now, I don't have a roll of that. I know, stupid. Where's my streamer loot? Or where's my YouTube loot, huh? Where's that loot? But honestly, it's still going to be decent with, as I said, you can get the damage going with this. So, yeah, pretty much one shot these yellow bars, which obviously is going to be super sweet. You can do it to that guy, do it to this one. It does so much damage, honestly. As I said, you can obviously use it with um, 
Like, you can do the same damage with a shotgun and stuff, but... But honestly, the bros you can get on this just... They bode super well for PvE as well. And as I said, it basically like a, a load of question light, so to speak. It wouldn't be exactly the same as load of question, but it does have Reservoir Verse. It is Arc. It does have the Bottomless Grief, which basically gives it the same sort of mag size as load of question. But it is a precision framed weapon, so it's not going to have the same sort of damage. And that's the only thing that's different between the two. But honestly, the damage isn't bad either. And it has a better charge time. So you're, it's like a lot of different payoffs. So you're getting more damage out. But I know a lot of people who want a Reservoir Burst want the high impact. Because you want a one shot and then reload. So you don't want to be having a short charge time with a long reload and stuff. It is just personal preference and everything though. It is just up to how people play the game. So or what weapons they're looking for. Alright, we're going to go over and invade though. Because I have got a hair apparent. And they all have... Oh, they have moats. They have moats, boys. Oh, they've got freaking moats. This guy's just gone straight up into the sky <laughs> these just aren't gonna peek me with the freaking modes yep yep i'm not gonna get peeked <laughs> i mean i'm legit just gonna tank everything here hey bro you just get shredded from me why not and this guy actually stupidly went out okay you just got ripped up and we're gonna do this i mean i'm out of time right uh, kill him real fast. I didn't even kill him. But yeah, that's the one kill. I mean, the freaking... <laughs> it's so funny. It did not team shot you. You just can't do anything. But yeah, I need some special ammo. And I will say the plug one, definitely PvP-wise or PvE-wise, it's, it's definitely solid. It's a solid-ass choice. Honestly, fusion-wise, there's a couple of fusions you could go for this season. Obviously, the no composure is the other one, which I just got. There is the no composure, which is the seasonal weapon of this season. That is void, though. And then, obviously, there is other ones that you can use, like... Even old weapons that you could use that are really good. Or still stick with your Glacial. So there is a bunch of different fusions. But you can see that the damage on these is super nice. It's just... It's a consistent amount of damage. It's not too much, but it's not too little either. The charge time is dope too. Especially with Kickstart on it as well. And my charge time with the Masterwork. I've got everything going for a charge time wise. Now we're going to do this. Super it up. And kill everything, boys. Kill everything. Oh, someone invading though. Someone invading. So we're going to get the heal super fast. And that's how you do it. And then... Oh, he's over here, boys. Boys, he's over here, right? Oh my god, he's right there. All right, boys, we're gonna get him. Boys, get him. Get him. He's weak. He's weak. He's weak. And there we go. There's the plug one kicking his ass. <laughs> I mean, he did have the kickstart ready, so I was able to slide and get the damage in. As I said, there is so much you can do with the kickstart with it in terms of rolls and stuff. It's honestly just a dope-ass weapon altogether. I think that it's definitely worth getting a somewhat of a roll of it. I don't think it's gonna be like meta meta but I, I even 6v6s it definitely slays out and if you want to use it it's pretty good in pvp for trials and stuff but obviously there might be other better options pvp as well but pve i can't fault this one compared to other other, other fusions i just can't that is game set and match though that was a quick game but yeah definitely on uh on pve solid choice if you get the uh reservoir burst too it's gonna be so good and, oh we gotta borrow time what role do we get grave robber one for all Crap. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, that is it for me and the plug 1.1. 1 .1. Honestly, this thing is dope. I think PvP, it definitely slays out. It definitely has a good role. Like, especially with Kickstart on it. When you got Kickstart, it becomes insane. The charge rate and also the extra damage is basically the extra bonus damage of high impact reserves, along with getting an extra charge rate. And also with a charge time of 700, it releases it probably down to like 680 or something or 640, which is honestly just dope for charge time. I mean, overall PvP wise, this is just, it's nuts. And you can get better rolls. I do not have the god roll whatsoever. As I said, you can get under pressure, you can get killing wind, killing wind, heating up. Those sorts of perks with this and the kickstart, as soon as you get one kill, you're armed for the next guy. And you're just going to shred the next dude. So overall, I would say PvP, definitely try to get a roll of this. Because fusion rifles are slapping right now. And this is definitely one of the best of using the wall. Especially in this archetype. Precision frames never used to do that well. But this one definitely does slap. This one's definitely a really good one. You can see range-wise, it's also got a lot of range to it too. And then PvE, it honestly does slay out. I will say though, if you're going for PvE, this bottomless grief is good, but you want to be getting that uh, reservoir burst. Reservoir burst is just nuts. Trash baby or even the... Uh, Surrounded perk. But honestly, overall, I definitely go for Reservoir Burst. Reservoir Burst is just nuts. Kickstart is okay for an extra little tiny bit of damage. But yeah, Reservoir Burst is where it's at. That is where it's going to be PvE. It's basically like the load of question. Just a bit less impact because of precision frame. But it's a sweet one. Honestly, plug one is definitely dope. And honestly, the thing is, is that the Nightfall is usually first week. People are like, I can't do it. But 1310 is a common drop it's 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 one of the best drops for it in terms of getting it 1310 honestly isn't bad because you're probably around 1310 and 1310 is the soft cap of the uh, this season anyway so you're probably in around 1310 plus the artifacts so you're going to be high enough level to do it this season i don't generally use you past seasons so if you're never high enough level to do nightfall straight away at the higher tiers but now with the way they're doing the leveling you're definitely going to be high enough level to try to get it and i do think it is worth grinding for it i think think it's worth spending a bit of time going in to try to get it i know there's a lot of other weapons to grind at the moment but if you don't get it this week you will have to wait 
two more weeks. And you'll have a lot of fun with it, especially uh, especially in PvP. I think it's really dope. With the kickstart, you'll have tons of fun with this weapon. But regardless, if you like the video, trust like, and you want to see more content, subscribe. Have a fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.